Are you tired of people flying into your compound, stealing everything from your large furnaces? And have you placed this thing called a SAM site that looks like it can shoot rockets, although it doesn't shoot the helis flying in after you placed it? Now this is what you want to happen. And I'm gonna show you guys that SAM sites are not as useless as you might think. First things first, I'd like to point out that I see a lot, a lot, a lot of people that are using the SAM sites incorrectly, making them pretty much completely useless. Now, there's not a lot of information about these SAM sites. So for those of you who don't know anything about it, SAM sites are basically rocket shooting turrets that can shoot anything that's in the sky. Now, right now, the only thing the SAM site will shoot is a mini copter or a scrap helicopter. You cannot craft a SAM site, neither research it, so you have to buy them at outpost. They also require 25 electricity per SAM site to be powered on and most importantly they can be destroyed by anyone using a minimal amount of tools. Now that's it for the basic info. Now let's talk about what you should know. SAM sites are very strong although at the moment in the current Rust meta a lot of people think that they are not. Now I'd simply like to point out why people think they are not and how you can actually use their power in a way it's supposed to be utilized. The most important thing to know about SAM sites is that they can only shoot upwards. They are technically not capable of aiming down. The most easy example to understand is that basically everything that's under and on the same height as the SAM site will not be shot by the SAM site. And here comes the mistake a lot of people make. A lot of people that have the scrap and resources to buy a SAM site place them on the roof of their base or sometimes even higher. And that basically makes the SAM site completely useless. Any medium slash advanced helicopter pilot knows how to not get targeted by the SAM sites that are on your base. Now you would say, hey, that's an easy fix. I just place them in my compound and I'm done. And that is totally true. I'm purely creating this video to create awareness for the SAM sites and that they're actually not so useless as people usually think. Now a quick side note here, but SAM sites are not cheap. So if you're willing to invest in one or two SAM sites, you should also be willing to invest some materials to protect them. Now, I'm not going to leave you guys hanging with nothing. I'm going to show you my example of how I think you can utilize your SAM site the best way for your base. And of course, without letting anyone fly in your compound. And what you want to do is basically put and build out as low as you can like this. Put the SAM site on a little half wall floor. Put a floor on that and then put the SAM site up here. Now the most important is that the SAM site is actually under the level of the wall. As you can see here, anyone that wants to fly in has to fly over your wall. And since the SAM site horizontal X is below the wall, it will always shoot no matter what. So the most important is that your SAM site is actually below the wall. I would not recommend to put it another half wall higher as there might be a tiny gap that you can actually fly over the wall without this thing shooting you. So the idea here is that if you have them this low, you start by having two. Now, we only have one here and I didn't even properly center it. But what you want to do as well, just to make sure that even if people get into your compound by, for example, laddering, they cannot just simply pick out the SAM site. Okay, so I've basically built this separated from the base so that the walls don't inflict it, my example. So what you want to do is add triangles like this. Then you want to add twig the following way don't even have to put that one actually and then you want to get four metal barricades and you want to place them how i place them if you can't do it properly you just put some twig here as well and make sure they're in the middle of the stone that's very important doesn't matter if they're a bit far away although you want to make sure they are as close to the wall as possible so like that and this one as last and then you get rid of all the twig as you can see the barricades stay and that's the most important Without the twig, you actually won't be able to place them. Now, it's it's really hard to still get up to it right now. So, this is basically a better example. Now, to juice this thing up completely, to make it pretty much non-destroyable for anyone, by using a turret, by putting it facing the SAM site, like this. Put a gun in there and you power it. There's basically no way that anyone can get close to the SAM site and melee it out. 
And that's what you want. You want to make sure you have something like this. Now that was basically it for this video. I know it's a short one, but after seeing people use SAM sites for almost a year incorrectly, on basically every wipe I play, almost every base I see, I just really felt like I had to make this short video. Now I mentioned in the beginning that SAM sites use electricity, and if you wonder, I've basically made a guide slash tutorial video about electricity, and how I have made my own modular upgradable system. It's very useful, and it's definitely gonna come in handy to have a system like this for your sam sites link to that video will be in the description this video was originally gonna be a bit longer but it is expected based on commits by the rust developers that they're actually gonna change parts of the sam sites that are on launch site so that part of the video i have removed now this is not 100 percent yet as it's not patched in but based on the commits rust has made is that the sam sites at launch are not going to be able to be damaged anymore by melees. Now there's some other changes related to this. But I would recommend to check out the Rust commits yourself. If you're interested in that. Now that was it. I hope you appreciated this video. If you did make sure to like it. And make sure to let me know in the comments. We're on our way to reach 10,000 subscribers. So I'd really appreciate that if you're not subscribed yet. To make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one.